We have a new update about Tesla's 4680 batteries, which Tesla unveiled at its Battery Day event in September 2020. LG has already made Tesla 4680 battery samples and hopes to make new battery cells for Tesla in 2023 in the United States or Europe in a new plan. It looks like this battery production will happen at a new factory. Panasonic is also in the game of the 4680 EV battery production as well. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel and give us thumbs up if this report is helpful. So Reuters has an update on Tesla's 4680 new batteries reporting that LG Energy Solution aims to build advanced battery cells for Tesla electric vehicles in 2023 and is considering potential production sites in the United States and Europe to people familiar with the matter told Reuters. Tesla has not yet agreed to a deal that would expand LG's role in its supply chain beyond China, one of the sources told Reuters. Last week, the Korean battery maker told Korean reporters it plans to build a U.S. factory where it would make battery cells for electric vehicles and energy storage systems to cater to United States and global customers as well as startups. It did not identify potential customers then, but one of the sources said it was hoping Tesla would buy the batteries. Also keep in mind that in uh, what happened uh, with SK Innovations and their ban in the United States, partial ban for at least four years or so, 10 years, this is a new opportunity for LG Chem. In September, Tesla chief executive Elon Musk announced an ambitious plan to develop new cells in-house prompting suppliers like LG and Panasonic to embrace the unproven technology or face risks of losing a major customer for the longer term, Reuters report. The Korean supplier, a unit of LG Chem, has made samples for the so-called 4680 Tesla batteries, large format cylindrical cells, said the sources, who asked not to be identified. This is also from Reuters. It faces technological hurdles and challenges of scaling up production, people familiar with the matter said. Keep in mind that this hasn't been produced in a mass market yet, but also only in samples by Tesla at its Cato Road uh, project Roadrunner. LG plans to produce 4680 cells at its new U.S. factory. They plan to build a new 4680 cells line to supply Tesla Giga Berlin in Europe. One of the sources said adding Spain is one of the candidates for the European plant. So Spain may start becoming another major player in electric vehicle battery production if it's a candidate for Tesla batteries built by LG Chem. One of the sources said LG has never mass produced such large format cylindrical cells, although increasing battery capacity is the correct call. Here's a quote. Tesla is a major customer and LG can take risks, another source said to Reuters. He said LG has not yet secured orders from Tesla for the 4680 cells, still under development. For now, Tesla is sharply boosting orders for the 2170 cells used in the Model 3 and Model Y vehicles made in China, the source said. LG declined to comment, Reuters writes, and Tesla officials could not be reached for comment. Again, Reuters says about all of this. The source of all this information is from Reuters friends. Tesla's September plan to develop the new 4680 battery cells is meant to reduce production costs, improve battery performance, and increase driving range. This would help with Tesla's push to boost electric vehicle production significantly around the world. But Tesla is running a pilot factory for the new battery cells in California, which I just mentioned above, and preparing to build those cells at newer plants in Texas and Germany. Of course, Tesla's newer plants are Gigafactory in Berlin, known as Giga Berlin, and Gigafactory Austin, Giga, uh, Giga Texas. Elon Musk said recently, Tesla is in talks with battery suppliers about developing 4680 batteries. He said Tesla will use the current cells 
for at least a few years, but will retire those cells over time, instead bringing 46 AD new batteries for better range and so on. LG currently supplies smaller cells to Tesla in China, as those Chinese battery maker uh, cattle. Panasonic has partnered with Tesla in a $5 billion battery gigafactory near Reno, Nevada. That's Tesla's first gigafactory, of course. As you can see, LG, Cattle, and Panasonic are all in the game with Tesla, who hopes to make its own batteries. LG currently has $2.3 billion joint venture with General Motors in Lordstown, Ohio, to make pooch-type electric vehicle batteries for future GM electric vehicles. GM said separately it is considering building a second U.S. battery factory with LG. The United States and Europe and the world will need more battery factories because of the transition to electric vehicles who run on batteries. The usually candid comments from LG and GM came after another Korean battery supplier, SK Innovation, which I just uh, uh, mentioned, hoped the White House would overturn the recent U.S. trade ruling favoring LG, saying it threatens the, to disrupt battery supplies to Ford Motor and Volkswagen. Tesla rival Lucid Motors, which has a multi-year supply deal with LG Chem and is considering whether to make its own cells in-house, said it is interested in different cells format in different cell formats. Chief Executive Officer Peter Robinson earlier told to Reuters. In the meantime, Panasonic plans to start a test line, battery test line, for Tesla's 4680 battery cells in Japan in the business year beginning April 1, according to a person familiar with the matter. So Panasonic starts this year. LG hopes to do it in 2023. Keep this in mind. The two companies have not said if they plan to collaborate on production of the 4680 battery cells. In the meantime, Tesla may need to push out the time frame for mass production or work with partners at its newer plans in order to get cell production up and running quickly, said Kaspar Roles, an analyst at researcher Benchmark Mineral Intelligence. In late February, if you remember, we reported that LG Energy Solution had uh, began preparations to build a pilot production line for the Tesla 4680 battery uh, cells back in January 2021. We're talking about pilot production. Mass production is totally different thing. The company is reportedly currently upgrading part of the production line at its Ochang plant, where the assembly and electroplating equipment has already been installed. Several sources said LG's goal is to complete an experimental production line before Panasonic begins mass production of 4680 batteries. As I said, Panasonic hopes to do that this year in, uh, in April. LG has yet to receive orders from Tesla for its 4680 battery cells, which are still in development. At the same time, Tesla is currently dramatically increasing orders for 2170 cells used in Model 3 and Model Y vehicles made in China, the source told Reuters, like I said a little bit ago. Tesla has indicated that it plans to produce the 4680 battery cells itself at its own factories but the automaker still plans to purchase battery cells from suppliers and it has even discussed having suppliers produce its new battery cell design in-house. We thought when Tesla introduced the 4680 battery cells that Tesla will go it along and phase out the suppliers in the next couple of years. We don't know, maybe that will happen in the next five to 10 years, or maybe it will not happen. But we know that the world now needs more batteries, the world now needs more advanced batteries, and the world now needs more batteries that are made in ecologically clean ways, because making electric uh, batteries has a cost friends in terms of our environment, and the world needs to find better ways to make more ecological friendly batteries for Tesla, for Volkswagen, and for all other brands like Ford and uh, GM 
who are going to transition uh, fully like Tesla to electric vehicle production. Well, let me know what your thoughts are on this. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If this information was helpful, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. That really helps me um, like this video. And I'll see you soon in our next report. Please also ring the notification bell after you subscribe so you don't miss my next Tesla or electric vehicle coverage. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Have a great day. Peace be with all of you. See you soon.